All right, all y'all hairy bitches and hairless bastards out there. What we're going to do this morning is we're going to show you how to make a good southern breakfast here. Let's get some shit out the fridge. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I thought I had one of these fucking things open. Shit, I didn't. All right. So, all right. That's how you make a good southern breakfast. You're going to need coffee. You're going to need you some, some of this shit. Some of this shit. Let's see, do we got all four food groups here? Let's see, we got beef, we got cheese, we got crackers and coffee. Yeah, that's four, gr that's four food groups right there. Well, I guess we got to open these. I thought I had one of these damn things open, but I was wrong. So we're going to need a pack of these out. Spread the cheese in there. So we only got one kind of cheese this morning. And you take this right here. Yeah. You know, they put that shit on there. I don't know why they put that shit on there. Throw that wrapper away so your squirrels don't get it. Now, you're going to need a, something to cut that paper off there with. So make sure you got you a good pocket knife. Make sure that sucker's good and clean. Yeah, all right. Cut you a little strip down there like that, and that peels right off of there. Well, hell, it don't either. <laughs> all right. Flip you a little cut up there. Rip that sucker open. Get that meat out of there. Yeah. Here ain't redneck heaven. I don't know what is. Yeah. Now we got some. We got some sharp cheddar cheese from Publix. Cause Win Dixie wasn't open at ten o'clock this fucking morning. So you gotta slice this shit up. Just like that right there. We already got our pack of rich crackers on there. Get down to that last one and hump, it'll rip that sucker right there in half, see? Now you got you a good plate of shit, you got you a pack of rich crackers, you're gonna need some chicken in a biscuit there. So let's get some chicken and biscuit crackers going. Yeah, now wrap that shit back up so it don't go bad in the fridge. Now, You'll need coffee. Well, in order for coffee, beat that sucker off, get the old coffee off the sun bitch. It, that also drops off any extra cockroaches you might have. Um, and it scares the squirrels, you know, because they love coffee. You're going to need a way to scoop that coffee in there. Well, you see, I should clean that up before I put it back in my pocket, eh? Make sure that sucker's getting clean in case I want to eat again later. Yeah. Alright. So, you got your thing here. Comes with it. Don't throw no water in that son of a bitch. Just reach it in there, scoop it like that. Shake that shit off real good to where it's not all up on the lip and shit. Pop that fucker back in there. Pop that sucker out of there, pop that sucker in there, pop that sucker back on there. Grab this shit here. Slosh around a little bit of water to get around and get the coffee out that you forgot about at 4 o'clock this morning. coffee back in the freezer take 
you got some cheese. It don't matter how many pieces of meat you got cut. I oh, mean, this one of them fucking adult proof packages, ain't it? Yeah, I got a solution for that. When you get one of these adult proof packages, I know that shit's supposed to be Ziploc, but look right there. Just whip that motherfucker open. Rip that shit off there. Yeah. Five second rule doesn't apply, it's still in the damn wrapper. You see, oh, it helps if you plug the coffee maker in. I don't know why, but the sons of bitches work better that way. Now, while your coffee is brewing, you peel you out some cheese. Throw that shit on there. Just fold the shit like that. Boom, nice ready to use pieces. You ready to go? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Alright. This has been Redneck Breakfast Redneck Breakfast Cooking 101. We'll holler at y'all all y'all hairy bitches and hairless bastards later. <laughs>